Pakistan. You may remember that uh, infamous series when Shaka Rana, the Pakistan umpire, and Mike Gadding, the England captain, clashed on the field, and it led to all sorts of uh, pretty nasty pictures going all around the world. It shook the world of cricket. Well, that's gone. This is now the 2000 vintage. This is the Pepsi 2000 series, and it's a series of three one-day internationals. Uh, Ian Botham, the former England all-rounder, went onto the pitch, and he described it as an absolute beauty just made for batting, not a blade of grass on it, and it was very, very warm in Pakistan. The temperature at the start of play was around about 42 degrees centigrade. The toss, well, that was important. The side winning the toss would bat first. That toss was won by Moin Khan, the Pakistan captain. Nasser Hussein was just ruining the fact that he didn't call the uh, tail that he absolutely wanted. So it's Pakistan who batting. This is the Pakistan lineup for this first one-day international. Sayed Anwar, Imran Nazir, and Salim Ilahi is in form, a wonderful young player. Yusuf Yuhana, Intamam Ulhaq, Moin Khan, the captain, Abdul Razak, Wazim Akram, Wakar Yunus is back in the side, Sakhle Mushtaq, and Mushtaq Ahmed, the leg spinner. There's no Arshad Khan. Marcus Trostovic uh, and Alex Stewart will open the batting for England. Trostovic is in great form. He scored a century in the warm up matches. And Nasser Hussein will captain the side. Graham Hick, Graham Thorpe, Andrew Flintoff. The very large all-rounder will not bowl. He'll bat only in the side. Craig White, Mark Elam. Ashley Giles is a left-arm spinner. Andrew Caddick and Darren Goff. Both the England fast bowlers in good form. So it's Pakistan who are batting first inside the uh, National Stadium in Karachi. Let's pick it up now with the two opening Pakistan batsmen. Saeed Anwar in wonderful form, 32 years of age, 19 one-day international hundreds to his name. No fine leg, fine leg is up. Giles is the man out at deep backward square, and the plan has backfired early. Pakistan away with a boundary off the second ball. Well, attempted to try and keep the Pakistanis Quiet, but and it trips down that leg side, no fine leg. Not to do much. It's back with a point four. Already we're seeing if you can get bat on it, beat the infield, it's gonna be a boundary. Pakistan, 13 without lot. Beaten leg slip, and that'll run away for four. No fine leg, remember. Two boundaries in two balls. Well, I have to say that I think this field is uh, asking a lot of the bowlers to give this heat. There you go. It's only got to drift to the leg stump. And that's flicked away. Mark Elamant. Leg slip. Despairing dive, but always dropping in front of him. on leg stump again just worked away by Saeed it may not have the legs it's a good diving effort by Craig White and the third umpire I'll have to have a look at that and I think he might award four I have a feeling the leg was over the rope when he flicked it back well let's have a look I think it's four it's Craig White doing the fielding I think that's for, I don't think there's any doubt about that. It was a brave effort from uh, Craig White. For, there's a huge screen uh, away towards mid-wicket as well that uh, the majority of this crowd can see. That's uh, the noise you can hear. Wider point and wider third man. So uh, spoils a good over. What would have been a good over from Andy Caddick. It's still gone for six. It's 38 for nine. Darren Goff supposedly was going to bowl three and save himself for later, but uh, Craig White is on earlier than uh, maybe he expected to. That's what has to happen. You have to adapt to situations. 39 without loss now. He's got him. First ball from Craig White has done the trick. And it's an important wicket too. Said Anwar, who started in such good form, has just fenced that little away swinger. It's a thin edge through to the keeper. And England have struck back. Uh, it's a huge wicket. Said Anwar was looking so good, etching that one. Uh, remember, there was no slip. So that might just have tempted him to uh, 
play in that area. Faint edge and nicely taken. Straightforward catch. Anwar gone for 24. And Pakistan lose their first wicket for 39. And it brings to the crease Salim Elahi, 23 years old. Well, the line was good, but the shot was even better. All timing there, and uh, made it look so easy in runners here. That's a beautiful stroke. He's an exquisite timer of the cricket ball, Imran Nazir. Hardly put an effort in there. Stroked it away, played it with the swing. The ball shaped just a little to come in a little. And uh, he offered a straight back. Beautiful wrist work. Taking the blow, that's uh, uncomfortable. It's the polite way of saying it. Stinging below. He was looking to drive away from the front bat. A little bit of deviation inside edge. Bang. That must have hurt him. That's gone pretty high. It's also got the distance on it. The first six of the match. In the end, clearing the boundary by some 10 yards or so. Well, it looked a good over till then. That's a very brave shot to execute. Remember, Alex Wood is standing up, so uh, they didn't have the time to get out of the crease, to time it to perfection. And he has done that in style. Got the elevation. There's another chase here. No one at long leg. And it's just got the legs on it. So, four runs. This is a clever stroke from Salim Alai. Remember, he shuffles a little bit, so the ball that is pitched on the middle stump can easily be played away on the onside. And there you see him getting onto that off stump, just outside the off stump, and working the ball away nicely in the gap. That's a fine shot. Well, he got the hang of this pitch the other night. Or to be more precise, the pitch uh, too removed. To the right as we look at it. Well, he was aiming away, really, as uh, Craig White was delivering the ball. He's timed it superbly. There was that little shuffle across the crease. He had in mind whatever was available on the leg side. He's timed that well too, he's beaten the dive. Very good over again for Pakistan, very good over for both these men. 12 runs coming from it, 86 for one. Murray back on strike. And uh, good shout. Now, oh, he's given it. Uh, that's from very reluctant to walk, but it seemed pretty straightforward. Much of a fact appeal from England. Probably too close to him to cut. England did appeal. Rolls his fingers across the ball, Mark Elam. It's a little bit too close. There's the outside edge. The ball rattles around Stewart's gloves. He knows it's out. Elam knows it's out. Eli stands there. Now that is an appeal from Stewart. And I think he's just telling him that I think you're out. And off he goes. Another wicket for England, 87 for two. This cricket broadcast is brought to you by Coca-Cola. Jo chaho ho jai, Coca-Cola enjoy. There we go. Andrew Caddick's back. No better sight for any bowler. Particularly when he's on the receiving end at the start of his spell to come back. Good first over and then uprooting middle stump. A terrific comeback from Caddick. The ball does swing. Full of length. It swings in. Pitches, nips back. What a start for Caddick back for his second over. Middle stump. Who says Hussain? Beaten on the attack. Eli, a strike for Caddick. 97 for three.
Good over though, one run came from it just from that last ball. Brings up the 100, 100 for three. Good shot, followed by a good shot, and uh, ball carrying all the way in the end. I mentioned earlier, it's uh, a very big field here in the National Stadium in Karachi. Beaten right, Hussain. And gone for four. That's the penalty for someone like Darren Goff. It wasn't a bad delivery as such. It's a little bit of extra pace in the ball as it leaves the hand. It's guided away. The face was... Uh, Directed almost exactly at Nasu Hussain, wide open. That's all it takes, just uh, out of reach. Some width there, though, and that's going to go to the boundary. Craig Wilde will be disappointed with himself. He's done a good job, but player of Inzman's quality. He can't go short and wide. Actually, Jars to continue. Gresham down the wicket, Hit pretty straight. And hits straight enough. With that boundary, it brings up the 50 partnership now. 53, this partnership, worth of 79 deliveries. A good controlled stroke there from Inzamam al -Hat. Had the area in mind, came down the track. And then uh, really pierced the field there, there quite easily in the end. Inzamam, the crowd want 50. I'm sure he does. Brilliant piece of fielding, but it takes Hinsman through to a very important 50. And that's his 55th one-day international half-century. That's a very good uh, 50 from by Hinsman. A workman-like effort. And the crowd's loving every moment of it. That's imaginative. And very well played, too. Had to drag it from wide of our stump. This partnership developing for Pakistan. England looking to take the pace off the ball with Triscothic and Ashley Giles into the attack. Great improvisation by Yuhana. away and very effectively plenty of space out there Inzamam trusting the bounce and his eyes and his experience and it's leg side again if you just err in length by a foot that's the 100 partnership between Inzamam and Yusuf Yohana. As you say, David, very controlled. 100 off 129 balls. And in 77 minutes, Inzamam's now on 64, Yohana on 35. That's through into the gloves. That's the end of the partnership. And England will be very, very grateful for that. Slightly loose shot from Yusuf Johanna. He knows that already. He was the first to know. But Darren Goff, who normally gets the ball to come back in to the right handers at this stage of the innings, has really just let that one go straight on. Palpable edge. Alex Stewart uh, takes it low down again. A very handy wicket. Legitimate catch there for Stewart. Legitimate ball from Goff. Shake of the head from Johanna. And another wicket for England. 197 for four. New man in is Abdul Razak, 20 years old, bright-eyed, very talented. That's a great shot, though. Might just have carried the ropes, too. He was hit very flat and very powerfully. Umpire has uh, signaled four. Great shot to bring up the 200 very nearly all the way he just waits for this back of a length anything back of a length he looks leg side flat bat shot bounces just short of the boundary rope four 
Wonderful shot. Well, there's a certain amount of anticipation in that shot. With a glorious sense of execution. It's a brilliant shot. Front foot outside leg stump. Has to give himself room with the ball swinging in. Well, that's a tame end. It was uh, a moment of attempted inspiration. Trying to manufacture something there, trying to find a slot again on the leg side. Not timed. It's the end of Enzima. Bit of improvisation that went wrong. He's trying flint off at square leg. It's a full toss from Elam. It's a good wicket for England too. He's played wonderfully well, Imzaman. Scored 71, it's 219 for five. The captain is out there now for Pakistan, Moen Khan. Five down now for 219. Zach, who's on strike. Well, that's hurt. There was no reflex there from uh, Elam, it just hit him. He had no time uh, to react to that fierce drive from Abdul Razak. Really got in the middle of the stick there, winding up and hitting it. And that must have stung him. That's in the air. Nowhere near any of the fielders. Straight into the hands of one of the ball boys for six. Great shot. A timely hit. Pakistan looking for these big hits now. At the death end and Abdul Razak providing them with that with uh, some style there. Hitting through the line straight. And hard and uh, over the top for six. Full toss. To pour in to Elam Spell. Helped away for four by Moen. It was a gift for him. 14 off the over, 245 for five. It ends uh, Mark Elam Spell. And uh, he's leaving the field. He got a nasty blow on the ankle in that last over. So Elam will go and get some ice on that. It's feverish atmosphere here in the National Stadium. Oh, just short of Solanke, the 12th man. It was a brave effort. The hardest possible catches, those. Just bouncing in front of the fielder. And uh, it was a good effort to go and try and make it. It was indeed a very good effort, considering that he's just walked in. Over Solanke this time, that's four. This is where Moin Khan is absolutely brilliant. Great improviser. And on this occasion, backing himself up to hit straight. A difficult shot to execute. Coming down the track and middling it quite nicely. Great way to bring up uh, the 250, this. Using his feet, Moen. That's nearly cleaned the umpire up. That's bounced back off the boards fully 20 yards brilliant stroke that is shot of the day so far Abdul Razak really picked that end up quite brilliantly made room for that bat to come down nicely and straight as an arrow almost took the head of the umpire off he swung at that that's gone miles 20 yards over the boundary this time for six. Razak is on fire here. Well, exactly what Moin Khan was hoping that uh, his all-rounder would deliver at this point in time, and he has done it with style six, four, and a two so far in this over. And look at that heave. Beautifully in control. That's a huge boundary, and he cleared it quite effortlessly. Full toss. Straight down, uh, long on throat. Moen is annoyed. Solanke, the 12th man, gets a catch. 
the crowd go quiet the Pakistan captain is gone and uh, Pakistan are now 267 for six well Moin Khan once again looking for that uh, boundary not there he uh, middled it quite nicely a full toss from Craig White always a better delivery than a long hop at this stage Solanke making sure that he grabs it nicely and uh, nicely done in the end so he's gone for 18 in Pakistan 267 for six all this and Wazim Akram to come great Pakistani all-rounder comes to the crease right in at the block hole on leg stump that's the place to bowl Akram very quick has come back for two brilliant running called Ashley Giles napping I think yes it's a long boundary so the fielder really has to be on his toes to make an effort and attack the ball Giles will attack it but not uh, good enough It's a brilliant effort this by uh, Abdul Razak. He's made uh, 48 from just 27 balls. A little push for two again. Now will Giles be in quicker this time? Akram's coming back, taking him on, and he's back in. Third umpire's going to have a look at it, but I think Akram has made his ground. If he has, Abdul Razak has gone to 50 from 28 balls. Well, uh, this will make an interesting reading. We'll see Makram will once again running quite furiously, challenging uh, Giles to uh, throw it flat this time on the bounce. And touch and go while well, he's gone. Shot of the crease. That's a very good take by Darren Gaff, who made sure that he got behind the stumps. Well, Wazim's gone. I thought he'd just got uh, his bat in in time. The third umpire says, uh, quite rightly, that Akram was a foot short of his ground. Run out without facing a ball. Ashley Giles, the man with the throw. 271 for seven. New batsman is uh, Wakar Yunis. He's at the non-striker's end. Limbering up. Razak goes to 50. Goes through to 51. That's been a quite brilliant knock by this young all-rounder. 51 from just 29 balls. It will be the match-winning innings if Pakistan managed to win this one. A brilliant effort. Brilliant knock. Being appreciated all over the ground here. Methodical hitting. Two sixes. Two huge sixes and three fours. No ball. And the misfield. Hit the stumps. Ashley Giles may have redeemed himself there because I think this may be out again. The third umpire is going to have to have a look at it. Giles is all smiles. Yes, I think uh, they've got rid of Vakar Yunus. A little fumble. And a bang on target this time, Ashley Giles. Good recovery there. In fact, he uh, recovered early. And a bang on target. Although we do not have a clear view, but uh, indications are that he'll be short of the crease. Look, Wakar Yunus. And yes, he is. Wakar knows the red light's not on yet. There it is. Wakar is already halfway to the pavilion. So two run outs in Darren Goff's over his ninth over that was a no ball as well Wakar has gone for one it's 277 for eight Saklain Mushtaq is Pakistan's number 10 drilled straight back past Craig White four more there's no stopping Abdur Razak this is a wonderful exhibition of stroke play well, he's looked extremely safe when he's uh, tried to whack the ball, and this was just one e an example there. Craig White had come round the wicket to cut out on that width. And there you see him going uh, away on that leg stump and uh, creating the width that he wanted of the Razak and finding the gap. Beautifully hit. Well, Sacklane's got away with 
get away with that. Hit high on the bat. Darren Goff, I can't believe he's missed the stumps. Well, there was a chance, a sure chance. He had a feel all to himself, but missed it. Into the last over now. Darren Goff bowling. Abdul Razak smashing it high over now. Well, it was a quick full toss from Darren Goff, and really one had to middle it to find the boundary. And look at the way he's done it. Abdul Razak once again timing the ball quite marvelously. And uh, the target in mind. Gone the same way over Giles Head, six, up to 2.99. This has to be one of the best innings uh, ever in one-day international cricket by Abdul Razak. 74 from 39 balls, and it's not over yet. That really was a schema, a very difficult shot to execute. A wonderful innings from Abdul Razak, 75 not out of just 40 deliveries in Zamam, 71. All the England bowlers uh, catching the onslaught. Mark Elam, though, the pick of them, two for 49. England, 306 for five after being 13 for two. Andy Flintoff, 84. That was a wonderful innings from him. Nasser Hussein, 73. Graham Hall, Thorpe, six.